Okay guys, we're back with part 2 of how to convert the 5 to 4 aspect ratio video to a 16 to 9 aspect ratio. In part 1, we've discussed three different ways of using composite transitions with either uh, 720p or 1080p to accomplish this. And now we're going to use what I call my Frankenstein method. Since this video, as you can see in the background, has got a width of 1280 pixels and that is exactly the same as the 720p frame has. So we'll use cut and crop as a way to reduce some of the height of the frame down to 720 pixels. So in other words, we, we're going to cut it down from 1024 to 720. So the difference there is 304 pixels. As you can see, our project profile here is set for 720p. And this is what we're going to work with. This picture here shows you all the interesting bits of the video highlighted in red that we want to keep. Now on either side here, you'll see the two teams. The parts that we're going to move is on top here, the score, the status, the ammo, the minimap, and the timer. And this screen here depicts how we're going to move it. The yellow line depicts a 720p frame, the yellow dotted line, and the two team lists that's going to stay. It's inside the frame. The team score is going to move down. Timer is going to move there. Minimap is going to move there. Status is going to move there. And the ammo is going to move there. So, how are we going to do this? Here's our video. We cut it down to only a 25 second snippet. You'll still see the snaps short marker here. And we're just going to add the composite transition to it. Let's change it to composite here. And like before, we're going to set the virtual background to be black. And you'll see the video is automatically shrunk to fit the height. We're going to go back to a keyframe. And then we're going to click on this adjust to original size button. And you'll see it fills the screen now. Let's call it background. Change the title there in the track. Because we got to keep our head about ourselves here. So let's click on the composite here and zoom in a little bit in the monitor window. And there you can see the yellow line depicts the size of the current video. And of course what you can see is only 720p of it. So this shows you the top of the current frame gonna go back to a keyframe so we can move this by hand so we can manually scooch it up and you see the bottom of the frame appears here we're just lining it up nicely and as you can see there you don't see enough of the at the front of the tank you see all those boring ground bits here so this is not a good place to crop it and similarly if we drag it down and we look at the top now too much of the tank is lost at the bottom so maybe somewhere in between is where we want to be and so with the two team lists on either end I, let's just set this x to zero here and we move the y a little up just so that tank's top is uh, not cut off and we see the kill message at the bottom right and this little bit here sticking out is fine so let's do the first thing. We're going to move the status bar up there. So let's copy both of this clip and its transition. And we paste it in the track above. Currently video 1. And here we're going to move away from black. And we're going to composite it to video 2, which is the background video. Let's add a edge crop effect to this clip. And we want to move the top down. As you, you can see on screen what's happening. Oops. That means we need to uncheck the fill. So we wanted the original size. We don't want that little cropped out bit to fill the whole screen. On the right hand edge, we want to crop a lot off. 1050 is a good number for this. 
and you see we're still missing a little on top let's go back to the clip and probe more we just fine tuning it there let's drag it down to roughly where it should be we want to just below the our team list here on the left and fine tune it a little bit you see as soon as i start entering numbers in there i'm fine tuning it so we're going to call the status just so we know what track this is now we're going to insert another track we're going to copy the clip and the transition and paste it in the track above and now we're going to move the mini map up to below the opposite team member list so we're going to do the same thing on the left and what we did on the right for the status so you'll see the mini map now appearing right here from top of the status so we want to scooch that over so we change the x value to the same note this 1050 value appears in both the transition and the clip itself in the cropping make it easy on yourself use those numbers the same minimap that's what we call this what's next we're going to do the score line we're going to move it just a little down so it appears in, on the top of the frame now we're going to insert another track okay, let's copy the clip and transition paste it again rename this track to score and just check that it composites with the right track and the fill is unchecked now let's try and adjust it down so the top we don't want anything really and the left should come quite a bit back and you'll just see it appearing there it's an odd spot but that's fine it'll appear in wherever you copied from the right now we need to drag it in so we can see it you see it even appears above the yellow line which is fine just be aware that that could happen and we're just fine tuning it on the left so we want a bit more off on the bottom a little bit more and on the right that's starting to look almost good let's focus back on the composite and yeah the trick is to get the sucker centered so I'm moving the bottom one down so I can see that little line there. So I'm lining up those two little lines just to get the score line in the center of the screen. And I'm going to try and move it back up close to the border, top edge of the frame. And then we're going to adjust this bottom back up and unfortunately that moves the whole thing up a little bit so we're going to move it down again and this takes time guys so be patient <laughs> if you want to do this you're going to need patience um, it's airy to do and it's not for the faint-hearted let's do the uh, timer next so we insert a, another track we call it timer We'll just copy this score clip and transition and now on the left we want a lot more cropped off on the right a little less on the bottom maybe a little more because it's it's slower uh, where is it so if you can't find it make things bigger so there we were but less on the right there so let's bring the bottom up and I literally just want a pixel or so of the background to show and let's roughly move it over so I had to be on the keyframe to do that and we're gonna fine tune it just a tad here and it's also difficult to see on on this project monitor window because it's so small 
you don't see enough detail really so you'll do this and then you'll render it once and see what, what's wrong with it and fine-tune it maybe at least once more so we're almost there what's next so the ammo and consumables we want to move to a different spot and I've chosen that spot because there is that little remnant of the status box which now moved up it's actually where you type the chat you see it just below in the bottom left corner so let's adjust left and right almost to the same thing the top can be quite a bit down we want to crop it as close as we can without losing information now we want to move it down so we have to move back to a keyframe and I did that in this case with alt left arrow and we want to put it right on top of that little remnant there a little fine tuning where we want it maybe drop it a little more closer on either end left and right and now it looks good there okay let's look at a few different spots in the video here you can see a kill message which appears nicely in the frame and somewhere there's some alerts that happen here there you go that appears right above the ammo consumables and there's a few more of those they appear nice and here you'll see they start running in behind the status square and that's fine well here's something interesting you'll see where the ammo and consumables bar is you see as soon as my tank got killed some garbage starts appearing there and we want to not show that so I'm finding the edge of that I'm gonna go right to the end of this transition instead of keyframe subtract one insert it there so it's hundred percent opacity here go back to the right most end and zero it out so it fades out basically okay last thing we need to do is to mute the sound all the the videos except the background one we only want the sound ones otherwise it doubles up and then we're gonna render I've already preset the zone as you can see video name is fine the quality here is fine force progress at selected zone that's all good let's render and after one minute this 25 second clip is done Let's see how it goes. There goes the tank. But I'm just looking at the quality. You see there's a little air gap there. That could maybe be improved. There's a nice uh, alert coming up. Members are not cut off. Scoreline is good. Time is good. Minimap is good. There's a kill message bottom right. Everything looks fine. And you're done. If this is the way you want to go. So in that video, Dad showed us many ways to convert one video format to another. If you like this video, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye! Bye.